Momolan has had a difficult journey in the world of K-pop from a controversial debut to several members leaving the group and problems with their company. But what exactly happened to Momolan and what led to their downfall? Momolan was formed as a result of a survival show called Finding Momolan which premiered in July 2016. This show featured 10 trainees from MLD Entertainment competing to debut as a K-pop group. The contestants had the opportunity to, to showcase their singing, dancing and personalities all in an effort to win over the judges and the viewers. After several eliminations, the final lineup of seven members debuted as Momolan. However, even with the final lineup decided, the group faced challenges in their debut. The final mission of finding Momolan failed to gather the required. This meant that the group couldn't gather enough fans and financial support for their debut, which included the physical copies of their CD, music videos, live stage venues, and costumes. Momolan finally made their debut in November 2016 with their mini album Welcome to Momolan. In 2017, Daisy and Piha were added to the lineup. Daisy was one of the trainees that was eliminated from Finding Momolan while P. Ha wasn't part of Produce 101 and left Starship Entertainment to join MLD Entertainment and Momolan. The group found success with their song Boom Boom which became a viral sensation and topped the charts securing several wins on music shows. However, the cracks in the group stated to show with the release of their fifth mini album Show Me and the title track I'm So Hot. Although the comeback was loved by the fans and even earned three music show wins, the Deji and Teja were not present during the promotions due to health and personal reasons. The absence of crew members continued when Momolan released their first Japanese studio album TDTD. Not only were Deji and Piha absent from the promotions, but Yonu was missing too. The group also signed a co-management agreement with the Philippine media company ABS-CBN Corporation, leading to appearances on Philippine TV shows with Deji, Piha and Yonu nowhere to be found. Fans held on to hope that the missing members would eventually return and join the group for future comebacks. However, that the hope was shattered when Daisy's mother implied that the company forced Daisy and Teja to take a hiatus not for health reasons as previously stated. In October 2019, she responded to a message of support for Daisy and Piha saying, In a society like this, we should live right and stand up against small injustice. The company failed to clarify the situation with the missing members. Even though fans were demanding answers, the next update they received was not what they were hoping for. As MLD Entertainment announced that Teja and Yonu had left the group, the fans were devastated stated and couldn't understand why the two members would leave the group just as they were gaining momentum. The departure of two members was just the beginning of Momolan's troubles. In the years that followed, the group faced a series of controversies and scandals, including rumors of mistreatment by the companies and reports of members leaving due to contract dispute. Despite all these challenges, Momolan continued to release music and perform remaining resilient in the face of adversity. They had proved that they are not just a product of a survival show but a group of talented and dedicated artists who are determined to succeed in the K-pop industry. So, what are your thoughts on Momoland? Have you ever stand them? Let us know in this comment section below what do you think about them. And I will get back to you with a response. So guys, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Do give a thumbs up to this video. Also, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell because this really makes me motivate to make new videos for you. So, if you want to know what happened with Lee Jong-suk during his fan meet, then do watch this video right now.